Hey guys, let's make this southern fried cabbage. Today guys, we're going to make some fried cabbage. And to begin, we're going to cut the core out, which is at the bottom in there. So what I'm going to do, get you a really sharp knife and you're just going to go down the middle of it. Okay, and cut that core out. Let the core out of that cabbage, just like that. Start cutting your your cabbage up. It doesn't have to be a special way. You just want to go ahead and cut it. I'm just going to do mine like sideways here. You don't have to cut it up in pieces or anything. I'm going to rinse it in my calendar. Colander, I'm sorry. In my little strainer, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go ahead and rinse it. And we will be right back. So we're doing is just putting it in this little strainer here, and we're gonna go ahead and give it a good rinse under cool water. Go ahead and rinse your cabbage off in this cool water. Really, really good. Just go on and rinse them off in this cool water. Now we're going to take one medium onion and we're just going to cut this up. I already peeled it and everything. And I'm going to leave the onions this size. Just right here. This is how long. I'm going to go back and just, I'm cutting them the long way. I'm not going to dice them. I'm just going to leave them this size. Do the same. Whatever works for you, go for it. This is how I like mine. Kinda, kinda long, not too long, but thin enough. I may saute down. And with this red pepper, I'm gonna go ahead and chop this entire red bell pepper. I wanted green, but they didn't have any. So I'm gonna just cut it the long way, then I'm gonna go across it. Um, the short way. So again, it was a medium onion and one red bell pepper. And I'm gonna put these to the side. And now we're gonna start on our meats. So what we're gonna do next is take your smoked sausages. It can be chicken sausage, turkey sausage, smoke, um, and dewy sausage, whatever you like. And you know what, I'm gonna cut them like this. Kinda diagonal, diagonal. And I'm using two, two of these. This way. They've been thawing out. And whatever sausage you want. And remember, I'm just doing one cabbage. If you um, do two, you may want to add some more. Um, you may want to go ahead and add some more meat to it, or maybe you don't want any meat. You don't have to have any meat. Some people cook cabbage without meat. And now I'm going to cut up some bacon 
And that's gonna be just for the grease of the cabbage. I'm only using two strips of bacon, okay? And you can use three, four, however many you want, but this is all I want. I'm gonna cut this up in four parts. And then we are ready to start getting prepared to fry our cabbage. And like I said, there was only two strips of bacon. And this is what I'm using today for the cabbage. And some Letting that bacon fry down because we want all that juice, that grease it can produce. And we're gonna start frying our smoked sausages right on the side of the bacon. So all that flavor can be tied in with our cabbage. Now that's over there producing more grease. We got our smoked sausages here on the other side. And we're gonna cook this down. I like my smoked sausages with a, like a crust on them. So I'm gonna cook this down with the bacon and let it all go. See how crispy I like them? And the bacon is just resting on one side of the pan and they're still cooking. But we're about to set these aside and start on our vegetables and pulling everything together. We're sauteing the onions in the same pan with all that bacon. Let's let them do their thing. We've added the red peppers in with the onions and just let them saute and simmer down. So I'm going to hit it with some garlic powder and onion powder. That's all I'm going to season it with. This is just for the vegetables. As you can see guys, they have sauteed down a lot. So we're going to go ahead and add this cabbage in. Just add the cabbage right on top of the sauteed vegetables. And uh, this pan is pretty deep. But uh, all this should be in here. And it's going to cook down. It's going to cook down a lot. Okay, guys, all my cabbage fit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is cover it. Look, guys, it's only been like maybe three minutes and see how it's cooking down already. But I'm going to add some more onion powder. A little bit more garlic powder. And then I'm going to add some, let me shake it up, <laughs> some of this W sauce. Just sorry, a little teaspoonful. And I'm going to mix this all up and let it finish cooking down. It's producing its own water, juices, and everything, and it doesn't take long. We're not going to put our meat in there yet. We're going to add that when it's almost done. Guys, look at all the water this cabbage produced. It's just simmering down. Um, let's go ahead and add a little chicken powder. Just a little. And then we're going to add some Creole seasoning. Not a lot, because I don't like a lot of spicy. So I'm just going to add a little. And I'm freestyling. I don't know if that was a half a teaspoon or what. Some people like more, some people like less. I'm not a big um, spicy, spicy person who like a lot of spices. This all the way down, it smells so good. The aroma with the onions and the bell peppers and all the seasoning smells really good. Um, so good. Look at that water, it produces all water. It's fogging up my camera. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and add our sausages in here. And we're gonna mix them all together, the sausage and the bacon, and just let everything marinate together. It smells so good. It smells really, really good. I did taste it. It tastes just delightful. So after we, we're pretty much done with this, when we toss that back in there and mix everything together. Go ahead and knock yourself out. Get bacon in there, those smoked sausages. And last but not least, guys, I am done. You know you add your favorite hot sauce. Go ahead, knock yourself out. 
Um, I don't like a lot, maybe just a few dashes, so I may be adding some to my plate. Bon appetit, guys. Thanks for watching.